Scientists at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, a leader in energy research since the 1950s, see progress toward the long-term goal of producing power the way the sun does, with the next phase of nuclear fusion. Research practical engineering issues will be as important as the basic questions of physics. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. Since pioneers like Princeton's Lyman Spitzer launched the quest for fusion energy nearly 60 years ago, much of the research has revolved around one big problem. In the sun and other stars, it's gravity that sets the stage for lightweight nuclei to fuse together. Here on Earth, there has to be another way. One approach relies on magnetic confinement of plasma, ionized gas heated to tens of millions of degrees centigrade inside a more or less donut-shaped structure. That has been the basis for experiments here and will be the basis for an international project called ITER. We found different advantages there to different, different ways of doing that. And, and furthermore, as you go around the donut, is, are there, there turn out to be interesting advantages to twisting the plasma as it goes around so that it isn't, this very hot gas isn't uniform as it goes around, but is like, like an ellipse that twists as it goes around. And that gives, it, gives you essentially a much stronger grip on it so that it's more stable and, and is naturally able to run for these very long pulses. So there's, there's some plasma physics, some physics that's, that's going on to optimize that. But we really have gotten to the point where we're making it, we're going to be making an eater, industrial amounts of power from fusion. At this point, lab director Rob Goldston explains engineering has to play an increasingly prominent role. Because when this really works, it will make a great deal of heat, and you need to handle that heat in a very efficient manner. And it also will make some neutrons from the fusion reaction, and you worry about the materials exactly that will interact with those neutrons and, and, and uh, stay, essentially stay rigid and stable for periods of years. There is significant research and development to be done in parallel with this international project if we're going to make fusion not just feasible but economically competitive. At its current pace, this R&D effort is expected to take at least two or three decades more. Patrick Regan, NJN News.